One of the larger issues in Vigor is that it doesn't have any endgame. This issue is something that I will not be addressing in this video as it's quite complicated, but also because I've already made a video on this topic. Instead, this video will focus on a popular solution to the problem, and why it is not really viable. As despite the popularity of the suggestion, shelter upgrades are not a valid solution to the endgame problem. <laughs> to start off, we must first consider what possible upgrades we could get, and the issues that exist with them all. The first possible upgrade, and the one that would be the easiest to add, would be higher levels to the upgrades that already exist in the shelter. This coding-wise would probably be the simplest, however in the process of being simple, it would also be pointless. As with our existing shelter upgrades, a vast majority of upgrading them is just a pointless effort. Why would you upgrade a generator to max that level if by the time you upgrade it, most other upgrades are done, or the upgrades are too expensive to craft more than one at a time? Why upgrade the metal producer if it takes months to break even? Why upgrade the material producers if you have millions of mats? And why upgrade food if food is pointless? All these issues with upgrades that already exist would just be made worse with more tiers, and instead of creating an endgame, it would just be a pointless grind that pretty much no one would do. But what if we dedicate more resources and add more to the shelter? Well, to start, the devs have already stated that adding even damage range numbers in the shooting range would be difficult, so suddenly the amount of work to add these upgrades would be compounded. But if we are willing to do that work, what possible upgrades could be added? Well, as stated, these possible upgrades couldn't be related to food, materials, or resources. So they aren't things that people would want to grind for, and that's the majority of the things that you can physically grind for in this game. So instead, it would have to be something of a more cosmetic nature, which can be argued isn't worth it either because it's cosmetic and has nothing to do with gameplay. But more importantly, it would require a lot more programming. Cosmetically changing the entire shelter is a lot more work than just range signs, and range signs are considered a lot. The work for a shelter redesign can only be imagined, and, but really, at the end of the day, cosmetic upgrade is the best solution the devs could go with. But, even with this optimal choice, there is a massive problem. Not a lot of people would really benefit or grind for it. I had a friend of mine, Biggie Smalley, post a poll on Reddit the other day where he asked how many people had a maxed out shelter. In that poll, he found only 26% of the people that voted stated they had a completed shelter. Adding to that fact that only invested players would go on Reddit at all and vote on a poll, and the likelihood that many people who voted yes really only voted despite having, you know, they had a max shelter level but didn't max out their shelter, we can see that this is a minority of players would actually want this type of thing. However, even if we don't lower the percentage due to player errors, we can see a problem emerging, as three-fourths of players in the game don't have a max shelter. So it would be useless to them. And this really goes back to what I said earlier. They aren't upgrading it not just because it's hard to upgrade it, but a lot of them aren't upgrading it because it isn't worth it. These things are useless, and adding more of them would just be pointless work for the devs and just wouldn't be something we'd want to see. This gets added to the fact that when we consider how the community has treated upgrades in the past and updates in the past that they have asked for that didn't directly benefit them, people haven't really been too ecstatic about them. The greatest example is the electronics update, as the electronics update was widely demanded for, widely asked for, and really overhauled electronics to the point where it got rid of the signal issue and made transmitters actually useful. But it got quite literally no praise. And this lack of praise is something that the devs can't really afford if they're going to spend months adding a shelter upgrade, and when it's added, nobody uses it, nobody cares about it, and nobody praises it. And that's exactly what I think would happen. If you disagree with my points and you think this is the best solution to the end game, you're free to have that opinion. I'd like to hear why you have it in the comments below. But personally, I just don't think it's a good idea, and I think it's something that largely we should move past to try and find other solutions to the end game problem. But that's all I've got for you guys in this video. This has been Crystal Beast. Hope you all enjoyed it, and until next time, see you all next time.